Before we move on to the next section, you'll probably want to take some time to get two example artifacts. The first of these will just be a picture. You can get a picture of yourself, and the second will be a resume or just a, a blank document file. I'll go ahead and give you the time to do that now, and we'll pick up right after that. Okay, hopefully you have both of those things now. So to actually put artifacts in an ePortfolio is a two-step process. The first thing we actually have to do is upload those files into our ePortfolio area. And then the second thing is once they're there, we can actually begin to place them in the ePortfolio. So I'm going to cover the first part now, which is uploading those artifacts. To begin, go ahead and click ePortfolio to get back to this home screen. And on this home screen, you're going to see an upload button. Go ahead and click that and then click File from Computer. Here it's going to ask you to choose a file to upload. Now just to make it easy to find, I've put both of those files that I'm going to be uploading now into a folder on my desktop called EP Artifacts. So I'm going to grab this picture of me first, and then click Upload. At this confirmation screen, I'm just going to click Next. And in this screen, I'm going to give it a name. Now, you want to give things a name that means something. Goats just doesn't really tell me a lot. I mean, yeah, there are goats in the picture, but it doesn't really tell me how I'm going to be using the picture. So I'm just going to call this Introduction Picture. That way, if I'm ever looking for it later, I'm going to know how to easily find it. Uh, and also because of the name, I'm going to know where I already intend to use it. So I can go ahead and scroll to the bottom here and then just click Done. And once again, we've seen this before, but in the right hand side I see this saved successfully. And I know that it's now in there. I'm going to go ahead and go through this process one more time and now upload my resume. So I'm going to click ePortfolio again, Upload, File from Computer. I'm going to choose this file and I'm going to click Upload. Now this already has a name that I think is going to be suitable, so rather than rename it, I'm just going to come to the bottom and click Save. And once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and click Done. And I see, once again, that that's been saved successfully. In the next video, we're going to look at how we actually put these things into the ePortfolio.